Hey, you tune setters, how are you going? Andrew here, coming to you on a beautiful, uh, what are we now? Spring, spring morning in the Gold Coast of Australia from my home office, well actually my backyard, more, more appropriately I guess. So guys, we had um, some bombs drop last night, some absolute bombs. Hey, Helen Pendlebury, how are you doing? I see you coming in there. Edgar Jackson, how are you my friend? Daryl, how are you? I say good day to everyone as you arrive, actually I probably won't be able to keep up. Hey Lynn, how are you? Because um, I dare say this is probably going to fill up. There's been a lot of people share this, which is awesome because there's some really, really good news to share with everybody. So I'm just going to, I am going to delay just a little bit um, with what we've got to say. But you can see that uh, in the description there, we've got what is new? What is the new economic evolution of the world? Hey, Scotty, how you doing? Liam, I see you there too. Uh, and also, what is MLCI? What is multi-level crowd investing? So I'm going to try and give you that just in a little bit of a nutshell because... Um, there's a lot of people that are struggling to explain what we do and it really is it's really really simple um, it's a totally different paradigm to what we used to and I guess that's why hey Stacy Day thank you I appreciate that um, that's probably why so many people do have do struggle with it because it is different to um, to what we used to with uh, with the old MLM model uh, you know I just recently did a marketing video that literally stated you know um, we we're shifting that paradigm on its head what was created in the old MLM paradigm uh, network marketing paradigm took them 70 years to do a trillion dollars plus in revenue, right? Uh, well, the MLCI, the multi-level crowd investing industry, is going to do 100 times that in the next 30. So it is absolutely a new paradigm. We need to know how to encapsulate that. And of course, last but not least, um, I'm going to have a little bit of a chat about the banking license and really what that means for us because it's incredibly exciting uh, for anybody that's marketing this opportunity right now. And um, and I'll explain why once we get to the end of that. So we've got quite a few people jumping on this live. Thanks, guys, for, for joining us here. Um, I'm going to start with, with the new economic evolution of the world. For those who don't know what that is and what that looks like, imagine a, a community or a society where you benefited from every piece of commerce that happened. You went and got a coffee this morning and you earned some money from doing that, but so did your friend. Uh, you got a discount on that. You went and filled up your car with petrol, but you got a discount for doing that, and so did your friend, and you got paid for doing so. Um, you went out to a restaurant during the week and you, you spent $150 on a meal. Yeah, that was discounted you know, by, by 30 to 40%, and you got paid for doing that. You earned a little bit of commerce. Now, imagine you've done that, but you've got your whole community is doing the same thing. They're all spending money each and every day. And you're benefiting from that. You're getting some revenue from doing that. Well, that's the basic guise of what the new economic evolution of the world is. That's in its most purest form. But it goes much, much, much deeper than that because what it means, ah, oh, kia ora, Dad, how are you? I see you there. Uh, what that means is that everybody now starts to benefit from every piece of commerce that happens. No one gets left out in the cold, but it's up to us uh, as marketers as of, of this great uh, great opportunity to inform people about that because if we don't inform them, if we don't help them understand what that new economic evolution of the world means, then they miss out. And what it does is it makes our job harder. So it's it's really, hey Jade Bailey, how you doing? Are you there with Veronica as well? Cool, cool. I oh, know. Okay, cool. Anyway, no matter. So guys, that's why it's important to understand what that new, econ evolution, new economic evolution of the world means. We're going to change the whole banking system, which is one of the reasons why we'll get to that soon. But we'll change the whole paradigm and the way in which business is done. And collectively, together, as a massive community worldwide, and I mean, there's over 550,000 of us so far in our organization, in our SWIG organization. When we start to do that, we start coming together collectively. All of a sudden, we start to have a really, really massive voice and that. That right there is what it is all about. That is what makes this so powerful. That is what is going to make sure this thing succeeds. When we start to realize that we have the power together collectively, okay, we come together and we start getting on the same page and we start saying the same things. Now, that's okay if we've all got different points of view, that's okay, but we've gotta be okay with the different points of view. We've got this massive divide and conquer strategy within the media at the moment. It's been pitting one race against another, one religion against another. To hell with all that crap. Let's just accept that everybody has a different point of view sometimes and get on with life. Because love doesn't give a shit about all of that other crap. Okay, so we need to get past that. We need to get well past that if we want this new economic evolution of the world to, to, to work. That means working together collectively. You know, I've got friends from all walks of life from all around the world. And I absolutely have nothing but love for them. I don't give a shit what religion they follow. Anything like that. And that's not what this is about. This is about that new economic evolution of the world. So that's that part, guys. And in, in, in a nutshell, we get a piece of commerce or piece of piece of action from every piece of commerce that happens. We can do that together collectively. Then we start to have a voice. 
That is what's important. So multi-level crowd investing in a nutshell. What is it? How do you explain it? How do you go to somebody and go, oh, I'm doing multi-level crowd investing? They go, well, what's that? And you go, no, 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 no. Right, which is what mo happens most of the time because we're all stuck in that old MLM paradigm. So what is it? What is multi-level crowd investing? Okay, well, let's have a look at it. You've got company A that sells a product and that product, uh, in our case, it's education, right? But that product could be anything. The profits from that product, and this is what companies do, okay? So we'll do this in two parts. This is essentially what companies do anyway. They take the profit from that product and they reinvest it in their company to grow it. That's essentially what happens for the most part in commerce, okay? Multi-level crowd investing, they've got their product, they sell that product, and they take a portion of the profits from that product, in our case, 45%, and they reinvest that into a global portfolio on behalf of all of the partners. Cool, that doesn't mean that we're purchasing that, we're not. We're purchasing a product. In fact, we, in our case, we purchase a sound financial education that when put into practice, and why it's important is because if we're not taught how to manage our money, then we're screwed. And that's exactly what society's taught us, <laughs> right? But what it does, we participate in the education, the money from that goes into a global investment portfolio. Simply for participating in that financial education, we get given equity in that global portfolio. That in its purest form is multi-level crowd investing. We now get to share that with other people. We get to say, we've got this really great financial education. It's gonna teach you how to manage your money. It's gonna make sure that you've got more money left than month each and every month, because right now most people are the other way around. It's gonna leave a legacy for our children, our great-grandchildren, our great-great-grandchildren, and for much, much future, or many, many future generations to come. And for doing that, just for learning all those things, you get access to this great portfolio that, look, in the last five years has grown by over 50,000%. Those figures, I'm not making those figures up. And people go, oh, that can't be possible. Well, it is. And we have to be able to verify those figures to be able to get what I'm gonna talk about soon. So multi-level crowd investing in its purest form, the easiest explanation, company A sells its product. It takes the profits from product and puts it into a global portfolio. It also pays a, a marketing commission, if you like, so you can get paid from that side of it too. But the money that comes into that global portfolio, that global portfolio grows and you get co-ownership of it. How good is that? The company is gonna look after you. It's going to pay you loyalties and dividends from that as a bonus, simply for participating in a sound education. Simple, right? It's a simple concept. Forget the old MLM paradigm because it's totally different, totally different. Which does bring me though to my next point. A banking license. Last night there was a bomb dropped. We had a webinar last night. Uh, it's called a summary webinar. It happens every month. Usually happens on the last night of the month. Of course, this week, this month it happened on the first of the month. So, cool. Now, what was dropped last night? Obviously, we've had a portfolio that has grown from $26,000 four and a half, almost five years ago, to now over in the, in the most basic part, 14.7 million. But if you look at the actual global overall, the portfolio is worth over 43 million. So that's how much we've grown it since April this year, or since March this year, which is phenomenal. But it does bring me to my next point. It's getting harder and harder for us to do commerce within ourselves because it's hard for us to get money into our system. It's difficult to get money out of the system. So how do we combat that? Now, Andre has long been talking about buying a bank so that we can combat that. Oh, well, if we can't get through the banks, we'll buy our own bank and become our own bank. Awesome. Okay, so what we came one step closer to that last night. We now actually was announced last night that we have our own banking license. Now, here's the caveat I'm gonna put on that. I'm not gonna go out and say that Swig has a banking license. It's probably not that simple, okay? It's probably a little bit more complex than that. But here's what you do need to know about the banking license and the fact that we have one within our organization. So. To even consider getting a banking license, you have to have millions and millions in paid up capital. What does that mean? It means that you have to have access to liquid money. It has to be unencumbered. What do I mean by unencumbered? Meaning that you can just go to the bank and withdraw it, or you can go to your stash and you can withdraw it. You have it, it's right there. It's liquid, it's easy to use. That is one of the prerequisites for obtaining a banking license. You have to have a shit ton of money available to you right now. Not borrowed, yours, free and clear. Everybody understands free and clear. So you've got to have that for a start. So that means that our company's in a good spot. It means we've got a shitload of paid up capital just sitting there waiting to do stuff. And we've also got massive assets backing us. So that's step one. 
that shows that what we've been talking about with our portfolio actually has some substance. The money that we're talking about has substance, otherwise we would not have been able to get a banking license. That's step one. Okay, now, what else do you need to do? Extensive background checks. Extensive background checks. So if any of our directors, any one of them, okay, any of the people involved with our organization, if any one of them had any dirt on them, if they were untoward in any way, if they were scamming or had been involved in a scam before, they would not be able to obtain a banking license. Tick, we've got an air of legitimacy that no one can talk about. No one can go, oh, that, that can't be true. Well, what are you gonna do? We've obtained a banking license. These things have had to have been done. Um, I've talked about large, okay, so we were talked about that it's hard to get. Only legitimate companies can obtain one. <laughs> you can't get a banking license if you're a scam. You've got to prove absolutely that you're not to be able to get one. Okay, so that's that's two or three. Um, the exciting part is not just that we've now got a banking license, it paves the way to much, much bigger opportunities. Now, those people that are already involved with this, hold your hats, because this shit's about to get really exciting. I mean, like it wasn't exciting enough, but it's about to get really, really exciting. Hold on to your hats, bigger opportunities are coming. Now, it allows for easier transactions. Wow, because we know, <laughs> We know, and look, here's the other thing, here's, here's another thing, just as an aside, right? Do, have you noticed that any of the companies that um, scam you, it's really easy to get money into them? Yeah, I'm not gonna say any more about that. But what it does do, it allows for better transactions. So it means that we are able to control our transactions a lot more. If we've got a banking license, it means that we can issue our own cards. Wow, awesome. It means it's gonna be easy for us to get money in, it's gonna be easy for us to get money out. Now, I haven't got a time frame on when that's gonna happen, but guys, we've, we've gone over that first hurdle. It's amazing, it's over, we're over that first hurdle. No, oh, I, I don't know if you can tell, I'm a little bit excited. Um, again, I've, I've already said, you know, that a banking license is not obtainable by a company that has been scammed. So they do extensive background checks, the large paid up capital, uh, can't be involved in any, any Un, untoward shit, right? Can't do it. But here's the thing. We've now got global reach. We've got global reach. So the companies or the countries that they're already talking about operating, we've already got a, uh, a business in registered in the US that will be operating under this license. The US, one of the most regulated markets in the world to get into, will be operating with our banking license then. Okay, uh, Europe, extensively through Europe. Cyprus, great. The Russian Federation, we've got all of our bases covered in that respect. Now, when I was talking about global reach there, um, actually, I, I can't even remember, I've lost my train of thought again, but it's just because there's so much exciting stuff going on. It was when I started talking about the bank, global reach. Uh, it'll come back, maybe, maybe. But guys, the long and the short of it is, you've got marketing ammunition now that you can go out and say, well, I'm not sure of any companies that uh, have been proven to be scams have ever received a banking license. And the, just this to the near links that our company is going to to show its validity for its partners is phenomenal. Just the sheer opportunity that is in front of our partners with the fact that we now have this massive global portfolio. We have this massive amount of liquid capital available to us in order to be able to get a banking license. The fact that we now have uh, our own facilities for transactions in and out with cards. Guys, this is, this is hands down the most exciting opportunity I've ever seen. Now, I've, I've spoken to a lot of people over the little while. I've, I mean, I've got some really good marketing friends in the US that were, they're not, they're like, oh, but we're doing this. Yeah, mm, yeah it's a great area. This sort of paves the way. This opens us up. As I said, the US is one of the most regulated markets, yet here we are operating with that financial license. There we're going with that global opportunity. What that means with that banking license is it now allows us to go into different fields. It allows us to go into insurance. You know, we, we can do that. That can be part of our global portfolio. It allows us to go into pension funds, all sorts of different things. Um, of course, this paves the way for us being licensed and having a licensed financial product that wholesalers can take to their databases. 
Now you think of massive, massive pension funds and people take that on and go, hey, you've got a license, you're all legitimate, everything ticks up, bang. They'll take it to their massive database and imagine that. How does that look for us as co-owners being involved with that multi-level crowd investing industry? Where we've got co-ownership of that global portfolio that's just continuing to grow. Phenomenal, right? Think about that. Then we go, uh, uh, there's just so much. There's so much. I want to give you too much. That plays perfectly into that new economic evolution of the world. When we start getting all of these people on board, remember, we want 5 to 15% of the population in each and every territory. We're a long way off that in Australia. We're less than 15,000 people in Australia. There's 22 or 24 million people in Australia. We're just scratching the surface. The same in the US, the same in China, the same in Japan, the same everywhere. We're just scratching the surface. We're just getting started. So this license paves the way to many, many future operations within this company. It absolutely ensures our longevity. I mean, we've been in the market now for five years anyway as SWIG, and before that, the Academy of Private Investors since 2011. This is the logical progression for this company. We are here for the long haul. If you're still sitting on the fence, it's time to get off because you'll miss the bus and then you'll go, what the hell happened? What, how did I miss that? With so many people telling me about this, and I know I know that now because I'm having people coming back to me going, shit, somebody else told me about this as well. And well, ah, hello, I did tell you that was gonna happen. Guys, if somebody's shared this video with them, get it back, get back in touch with them because they only shared it with you because they love you. It's not because they want your money, because believe me, <laughs> they are all right. They are gonna be okay. They don't need the money that comes through the network because of what they get from the loyalty payments, which are due to come again on the 8th of this month. And by the looks of it, they'll be pretty good. And of course, once that, uh, once that unit does its thing, once it's regulated, once it's listed, then all of a sudden they become dividend payments. Now remember, they didn't pay for those. They haven't bought those. They bought an education. They got given those as a bonus. It's a no-brainer, guys. Absolute no-brainer. Again, I understand that people need to do due diligence. Awesome. But guys, the evidence is starting to stack up. You can't deny it. It's irrefutable. When a company reaches out with the paid up capital it's got and buys its own banking license, it's, um, it's pretty clear that the company is legitimate and on its way to massive, massive things. Anyway, so that was my excitement. I hope that's been helpful to everybody. Um, I think that this is a record life for me. 100 people on there. We, we just dumped up to 100 people. That's amazing. Thank you guys for being with me here for the last 10 minutes or so. I'm not sure how long it's taken. Um, but we have some, obviously it's massive exciting news. Make sure people understand what it is they have their hands on. Make sure you know how to explain the new economic evolution of the world. Make sure you know how to explain multi-level crowd investing. I am going to put a really, really simple video clip out explaining exactly that for everybody. Um, but guys, go out. Make hay while the sun shines. Absolutely got nothing but love for you all, and I'll see you all at the top. Have an amazing day. You totally deserve it. Take care, guys.